So make our u the inside function, the f squared plus 4x plus 7. So when we take the derivative, we get 2x plus 4, the dx on the outside. And we don't quite see that there, but if we factor out, well, actually, if I, do, if I factor out a 2 from this, I get 2 times x plus 2 dx. So I see the x plus 2 dx there. I just don't see the two. Constants do not concern us. I'm going to multiply by a fancy form of 1 by multiplying by 2 and dividing and multiplying by a half at the same time. Didn't change anything. But now I've got 2 times x plus 2 dx on the top, and that whole thing is going to be replaced with a du. So when I go to rewrite this whole thing in terms of u, I'm going to write the du over to the side, and I have 1 over the square root of u with this one half out front. Now this is a whole lot easier to solve because this is u to the negative one half du, and I can take the antiderivative of that by adding one to the power and dividing by what I get. Um, if I plug back in my original u, twos cancel, I get the square root of x squared plus four x plus seven, and I'm gonna take that from my original limits, which were in terms of x from one to three. So if I plug in the three, I get nine plus 12 plus seven minus the square root of one plus four plus seven. That's 19, 28. Square root of 28 minus the square root of 12. So that's two root seven minus two root three. Let's see if they agree. Yep, they do. Awesome. So 2 root 7 minus 2 root 3. I should make note that I dropped the limits. These limits were in terms of x. So some teachers get really freaked out if you 1 and 3 here, because technically these limits should be in terms of u, and I should have these little stars going on, or I should replace them.